Hi everyone, uh, welcome back to IZDAT DWF uh, repair video. I uh, just received uh, um, from uh, Fabian's uh, action site uh, this uh, floppy disk controller for the Apple II series of computers. That was another card missing in my uh, Apple II Euro Plus. And this was advertised as not working and so let's see uh, what we can do uh, to check and uh, make it work okay, actually the first thing we notice is that uh, the contacts fingers are uh, very dirty and oxidized Probably the gold plating uh, is gone where the, the contact uh, was uh, meeting the uh, the connector into uh, the Apple II. So since I cannot um, uh, redo the gold plating, uh, um, which is a, a difficult process and also very expensive. Um, I will try to clean uh, the, the dirt and oxidization first then if the, uh, the plating is too uh, ruined or not existent anymore I will uh, make a thin plating on all the contacts instead of the gold plating Well actually another evident issue with this board is uh, first of all it's very dirty and uh, most pins are very uh, oxidized too so what I will do also is remove every IC uh, have a good clean of the board and retain all pins that uh, appear to uh, really need uh, to be thinned ok after some gentle cleaning it seems that uh, after all, I can try not to routine uh, the fingers. There is uh, still enough gold, even if it's ruined. But I will try uh, to use the board like this anyway. And it should work. Um, I don't think this is the real issue. I cleaned most of the board, extracted all the ICs and as you can see there is one missing because uh, as I extracted this uh, chip uh, two pins uh, just remained into the socket uh, because too much uh, the rust uh, broke inside uh, the pin so all the pins are very brittle anyway uh, normally I would replace a chip like this but this one happens to be a programmable uh, ROM uh, as you can see pro it, it can be programmed once and I don't have at the moment uh, a suitable programmer for such chips and so I will try to clean carefully every pin, apply flux new tin and solder new uh, IC pins on the missing ones hoping uh, it doesn't break uh, at, the, uh, at the interface with the, the, the plastic of the case and so it should work if uh, it's still uh, uh, good inside let's see okay, the first step is to rub very gently the pins uh, with uh, uh, general uh, generic uh, polish uh, metal polish solution and that will remove most of the oxide but unfortunately I've lost another pin in the process uh, always on the same side the other side seems uh, better but anyway as long as uh, 
as metal tab remains uh, I can solder new pins uh, now most of the oxide went away but uh, uh, next will be cleaning uh, all the chip with alcohol to remove the excess uh, uh, cleaning pest so this is the result of the washing the chip uh, there is quite some oxide still but uh, um, at this point I will apply flux and uh, thin every pin on both sides and then uh, find some uh, replacement pins for the missing ones ok let's see if it focus uh, the result is not very pretty so far but uh, it works and I've lost another pin on this side hope it's the the last one however it's time to uh, solve the new pins what I do when I found when I find um, a broken chip on a circuit I'm repairing uh, before throwing it away um, I, I cut some of the, the pins for two reasons mainly uh, first because uh, if he has a cut pins he cannot uh, return in the parts uh, uh, being uh, uh, and make its way on a, a repair a new repair um, and return uh, from the dead and second is uh, for this uh, reason so I can uh, reuse uh, the cut pins uh, when uh, some chips uh, need them ok not the prettiest thing you have seen uh, as an IC but it should work so now I'll try to reinsert this thing in its socket and have a first test on the controller card 